Hello, my name is Christian Water from Trade Wola, and like every week, we want to present you some interesting stocks, some interesting um, yeah, equities for um, yeah, from this week, and uh, where we recognized or with our scan find out some um, unusual movements. Uh, but first of all, today, as the new um, president uh, in the United States started to work, we want to have a look how the um, whole market, um, means the S&P 500, um, reacts to, to the situation. As we can see here in the intraday chart, we already started with a um, gap up. And um, since that, we are on the um, new um, average, not average, the, the new highest um, price in the S&P 500 um, since the start. So you can also see this here with the blue dots. Every blue dot means a new 52 week high, but in this case, it's also an all time high for the S&P 500. So far, um, this can um, cause, if we can we should have a look in um, a longer period of time. So um, in this case, it really can start now to break out uh, to 4,000 points from the S&P 500. Just uh, for you to let you know, this is the S&P 500 ETF, um, one of the most liquid uh, ETFs um, on, uh, on the world with uh, SPY. Um, but it moves at the end in the same direction or the same uh, percentage like the index itself. Um, so it might be very interesting how the next days will, uh, will go for the S&P 500 and for all the stocks, um, especially now as we are coming to the hot um, season of the earnings. Um, all the big companies will present their earnings in the next days. A few, especially banks, already presented their, their earnings, but this can really be an interesting time now, end of January and uh, beginning of uh, February. But this is just um, as some short information from the index itself. For our stocks, we had like, um, I would say, two very or three very interesting stocks. One of these is the Blackberry with the symbol BB. Um, you can, we should check this in our auto chart. You can see here why it's so interesting. Um, if we click to, The chart you can see here what we always um, mentioned there's a really high option volume it was increasing by a couple of hundred percent three four hundred percent um, last week and this was also the beginning of the breakout and you can see every um, new day we had a new 52 week high uh, also today after we um, yeah, started to invest yesterday we are also in profit with uh, four percent even when the market started, it was uh, much more than this. So BlackBerry um, was a very short-term trade um, because you have to know when a stock uh, like this already moved uh, more than 60, 70 or 80 percent, there can be, of course, a big corrections. So uh, for these trades, also with options, I like to go um, in and take a few, um, a few uh, percentage profit next day or maybe sometimes even on the same day. Um, but on the other hand side, it's uh, at the moment also very interesting with the implied volatility, what is uh, um, on a very high level, like I mentioned this every week, this can um, bring you good revenues, um, good premium from, from the option side. So that's why BlackBerry um, should be yeah, in your watch list or um, if you already invested, um, you should already have some good performance from BlackBerry. And the other two symbols, which are uh, a little bit smaller, you might not hear from these companies before. The symbol of the second one is AMC. Um, it's a broadcasting company or entertainment company, like the name is um, already telling you AMC Entertainment Holding. Um, and the company itself was already almost bankrupt, I would say, but in the last days there came some really good news uh, for AMC. Um, also, bring um, on the same day, uh, quite a significant um, option volume, especially on the call um, option side. And um, yeah, the stock itself moved from $2.20 to almost $3.40 in just um, two or three days. What is for a stock itself uh, quite a um, um, good movement, but also from the um, option side, here we have an implied volatility of more than 200%. 
but also yeah, shows you at the end how um, volatile it is and um, what is maybe the risk for a down move at the end. Um, the higher we have the implied volatility, volatility the bigger the moves um, can be of course on both sides uh, but AMZ for like a small portfolio even with our um, penny stock screener we can almost um, yeah, get this symbol um, at the beginning of the up movement. And the third symbol is from diagnostic tools. Um, it was a stock what was um, yeah, under the radar I would say um, because nobody took um, uh, notice of this since um, the end of uh, last year. Then it also started to create some good option volume but a really movement, a uh, really big movement started four days ago and yesterday was, uh, was a crazy day. The uh, um, stock almost doubled. It started here at $1.50 and moved over almost to $3. It was almost 100%. So everyone would say after 100%, um, it's hard to um, still buy maybe a stock like this. But um, in this industry or in this um, crazy times, I would say, you can see today it was um, almost moving to $4. Uh, so there was still a great movement. But um, for all these three stocks, what we presented here, you can see the curve or the movement was um, so big that it's of course um, always risky to enter these um, stocks on the highest price. But to keep this in your watch list and to check if there's um, some good opportunity in the next uh, weeks, also to follow the news, what you can easily do with uh, the website Finvis, where you can also see here the, the video what we presented earlier for Finvis to just know how to use this tool or how to use this website for your own needs um, will bring you maybe some good chances in the future to um, trade one of these um, three stocks what we presented to you um, in this video. Um, but other than these symbols what we showed here for this week we have um, some global big players what everyone knows of you um, is General Motors as well as Ford. General Motors already started uh, in the beginning of this year to have a great outbreak, a great trend, a great uptrend and uh, we can also see here the same what we always um, tell you in these uh, videos great option volume, uh, increasement of the implied volatility and just to give you some numbers, of course it's not so volatile like Tesla or NIO what we normally show you here in these presentations. But for General Motors, just to give you the concrete numbers, it's it moved up from $42 to almost $556 and this is only in two, two and a half weeks. So for General Motors, I would say a really great movement and the same we have here for Ford. Ford was also in our tool, especially today. Ford, of, Ford is one of the um, stocks with the highest option volume today. Um, of course, mainly call options. What we can also see, just for example, the average for Ford is 200,000 call options at the moment. Um, and today we had 550,000 um, call options. So it's still more than double from the average. And here you can see this. On the put hands uh, on the put side it's um, not even um, half of this so put volume is still very low and i would say if we go back a little bit um, more in this chart you will see there is still there's still a lot of space for um, higher prices other than these stocks what we saw earlier. You can see Ford was coming from this level, same like General Motors, but for Ford it was really um, bad years um, from the performance side the last, uh, the last two years I would say. There was, you can see it here from the average, almost uh, the whole time a downtrend, not with crazy big down moves, only in Corona, when Corona started. But still, Ford was not um, yeah, um, a good stock to, for your buy and hold strategy, I would say. And now maybe the time changed. Ford um, made the turnover, the turn, uh, turn around at the beginning or the end of the last year. And now it's continue, continuing with this trend. 
and especially if we see it here the first three weeks of, um, yeah, of the new year was a really great performance for Ford um, and um, for buy and, hold, buy and hold strategy can be an interesting time for one of these two um, big car um, companies like Ford and General Motors. From now, this was um, everything for, for this week, but um, we will also have a look from one of the symbols which I presented earlier, I think two or three weeks ago. This was um, the, not pharma company, but it's, uh, um, it's a company who is um, yeah, producing um, well, it's a truck store company from Israel, TEVA. Uh, -E uh, we had this, I think, uh, like I said, two weeks ago, and it was exactly here, at the beginning of the uptrend with the high coal volume. Um, and then I think this is a perfect example how it should be. Of course, it can't be always the same, but it already, always starts with good volume, with a good up movement, and with some great news. It's um, on the other hand side, also important that the whole market, the whole index uh, moves in the same direction. But from $10.50, where we started here, um, it reached yesterday $12.50. So it's 20% in two weeks. Even for the stock, it created um, um, great performance. So you can imagine with option trades, you can make easily 100-200% in uh, one or two weeks. And I would love to show you some more of these um, um, ideas um, and stocks in the next uh, video tutorials. So please feel free and subscribe to our channel to not miss any of our next videos. Thank you very much.